I always thought that life began at 40. Well, according to ex-deputy PM Damien Green, now extra tax should begin at 40 as well. Mr Green's reasoning is we should be paying this money to help with the cost of social care, something we'll all need as we're living longer. But as a proud member of the 40 Club, I'm saying sorry, I won't be paying an extra penny in tax. While he has correctly identified a real problem, Mr Green has neglected other important trends, such as the fact that 40 is the new 20, as your 40s is likely to be the point where you finally get on the housing ladder and for a growing number of people, start a family. And on top of that, those of us in the 40 and over club are already paying pensions and making contributions. And if we're living longer, we'll probably end up working longer too. So, Mr Green, to your extra tax, I say no thanks. June, it fell upon me to respond to this today. <laughs> now, having uh, looked at the panel, uh, and in your case not looked at, but actually just heard from you that you're yes. in your 40s, yes. I have come to the conclusion I'm the youngest here. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, I had just turned 40, in fact, in November. Yes. I, had yes. just I have just joined the 40 Club. Just you, joined. You kind of look like you belong in the 27 Club. Oh, darling, darling. But yes. still. Um, Get uh, on. I think, I think the <laughs> I think what I'm trying to say is the following, right? I've looked at this issue, and I, I, I loathe to defend a Conservative Member of Parliament, mm. and Damien Green in particular. But having considered... Actually, before, before I tell you what I think, let's hear what he had to say, okay. and I'll tell you how I responded to it. <clears throat> So this is Damien Green, Conservative uh, Member of Parliament. More and more people are going to live to 100 and we must plan for it. It's a tough message, uh, but for the sake of a couple of percent on national insurance, you can relieve people of the worry of what may happen at the end of their lives. It will be worth it. Now, look, I don't wholeheartedly endorse that. Here's my confusion, and perhaps the panellists can alleviate this confusion. What's your confusion? What do we do with the social care crisis? Mm -hmm. Whenever we discuss the National Health Service, we all talk about how much we love it, yet the experts are telling us that there's no sense in reforming health care if we don't integrate it with social care mm. and when we have the specific problem of 8% in real terms has been cut from uh, yeah. the social care budget mm -hmm. and we have the other specific problem that 18% uh, 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 growth in the over 65s mm. and in those over 65 year olds 45% mm. of them need about 25,000 a year yeah. for, care. for care. We've got this looming crisis and I kind of feel sorry for anyone that tries to tackle this, a bit like a poison chalice. So at the same time we all demand a reformed NHS and yet when they when they do raise the topic exactly. of extra tax rate, extra cash rate, none of us wants to pay. Yeah, I'm really surprised at your view on this. Because so was I, actually. I'm really surprised because oh I'm God. pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you were asked if you'd be prepared to pay more tax for the NHS, you'd probably say yes. Yeah. And here, here we have a situation where the most vulnerable people in our society um, are, are in danger. You know, there are there are 2.3 million old people at risk now. They don't have the social care they need, which means June, they wake up in the morning, they have no one to get them. No, let me finish. They wake up in the morning. They have no one to get them out of bed. They have no one to take them to the toilet. It is down to any civilized society should be prepared to support its elderly. That and I, I would be glad, I would be glad to pay a couple of percent extra. Because you can afford it, Calvin. Not, no, every, not no, everybody. But it, can. But it, it depends on how much you work. Hold on a second. Hold on, because Damien Green actually I quite admire, and I've met him, and I think he's a good bloke. Mm. But clearly he's gone out for dinner with Greg Dyke, or he's been <laughs> taking the Greg Dyke pills, because his solution is just pay more money, pay more money. For some people watching this, that extra, that lofty. A yes. couple of percent. Yeah, if you're making that kind of money and you've got an MP salary and whatever else, I might go, yes. yes, that is fine. But not other it's other people. Can't hold, 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 if you're hold, 50 that's yeah. And, and you, you seem to in, imply that the government will spend the money so wisely. Cobblers, they won't. Look at some of the money. They can find a billion pounds when they want to to do a deal with the DUP. Yeah. They can find 56 billion pounds for a railway that is highly dubious. HS2. Don't give them any money. The meantime, Let them spend properly what, what they've got. What do we do with the old people who can't get to the well, toilet? The, the, the point here is that the, the two major points being made. One is, why should this be paid when you reach 40? Precisely. Is, is point number one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Point number two. Because so much you're earning more. Well, point number two is the aging population. Yeah. This is a huge and growing issue. Mm. Mm -hmm. And 
we are not catering for it. I mean, there's no, all this talk not. of, oh, it's the immigrants and the EU uh, migrants coming into the UK that are a burden on the National Health Service and Care Sector. Well, for a start, 130,000 of them work in the National Health Sector. No one's saying that, Karen. This is about people but living the longer. Real burden, the real burden Bed blocking. is the ageing population, yes, both in hospitals and in the care sector. And that needs funding. Yes. And on the other what, what hand, we we're do? cutting funding. Whereas we actually need to look ahead and we need to be funding more to cope with the yeah. ageing population. Yeah. There's no it's running away from that. What is your solution, agree. Well, agree. I'm not sure what the solution is. Yeah. It doesn't but, call to her to have a solution, but, by but, the way. She's but, actually not But I don't think penalising people at 40 Agreed. is yeah. it. Because yeah. if you look at the growing trends, like I said, actually most people mm. have phenomenal outgoings at 40, you know, that's when you get on the property ladder now. Yeah. That's when a lot of people starting families like yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, your outgoings are probably more now than they were. It's in funny because everything you said has actually applied to me yes. since I became, like, literally since November. Yes. My life has taken an yes. uptick. Yes, you became you know? 40. And, and also, if you look at our, our overall government spending, our overall public spending as a country is 800 billion pounds mm. a year. Good. Mm. And the Great. biggest part of that, the biggest part, is health and social care and welfare. That's a huge yeah. chunk of it. So already we're spending a lot. A, we need to do it more efficiently. But can I... B, but we, this, don't you think Harold is Carol quite brave more. of Damien Green? Yeah. In the yes. sense that yes. in the, he, yes. someone has to tackle this issue. Yeah. No one But I don't know if this is the way to do it. But no, anyway, I, let's I, I, have a look. So the, the model that Damien Green is basing this on is uh, a scheme that they have in Japan. Yeah. Um, and here's a piece yeah. that was shot by Katie Stallard Blanchett, a Sky News reporter. So let's have a look at what she found. Mrs Nakamura is 90 years old. Until relatively recently, caring for her would have been solely her children's responsibility. But now she's able to come here during the day instead. 90% of the cost is paid for by the care insurance scheme. The scheme is part funded by the central government, part by compulsory premiums. You start paying into it at the age of 40. This system isn't perfect, but speaking to people here, I think the consensus is just the difference this scheme makes to their families, giving them somewhere to go so their children can keep going out to work and stopping them from feeling like a burden in their older age. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. That's, we've solved it. Mrs yes. Nakamura yes. has... <laughs> God bless Mrs Nakamura. She's having solved a great time. Saying you, it. you have to she, take insurance from the age of 40. You take, like, yeah. health insurance so you, that you pay and you're ready to go. We've oh, solved well, it. What's the difference between, what's that, and, what's the difference what's between that and tax? Uh, no, but you're paying, and maybe the government match it or something like that. They, that they, they, they are he other ways modelling it on the Japan model. That's no, precisely what she means. Mrs. Makamura looks happy. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so, happy, but she, his is his Can you stop <laughs> using any excuse <laughs> to <laughs> say her name? <laughs> Can you just stop it? Also, now, this is where people will accuse, <laughs> will make the accusation you're privatising health. <laughs> yes. Now, maybe a mixed model is the best yeah. way ahead, yeah. and we might have to look at that. Mm. But that's yeah. the way this yeah. is heading if you look at the Japanese example, and they don't have the National Health Service. Well, no, they, well, they well. don't, but they also <laughs> don't have the same social trends as us. We, we, we just saw the Japanese model. Well, there is another model as well, that's what the German it? fund. Now, the German fund raises through insurance contributions money for social care, um, and what I found amazingly surprising is that they're in an 8.3 billion euro surplus mm -hmm. every year. They're being incredibly responsible. <laughs> Nick's flicking through that thing. Yeah, I know. Well, about to say. Well. And it's true. Yeah. So what eight, are they doing? An 8.3 billion euro exactly. surplus. Yeah, like the they efficient. have a trade surplus. They have surplus but, and everything. It's like, how are they doing that? But, but, but is that just because of the efficiency should, of the system? Well, what is Germans that? are generally efficient at everything, aren't they? Japanese and the Germans. What's going wrong? And remind me why I know those two nations. So when we and so when we serve the public, it's uh, surprising that actually most of the public, when you ask them whether they would agree in higher tax for NHS contributions, yeah. agree. And, and, and actually but I think that's was, different to this. But, but actually, I'm arguing you can't separate them because you, it's impossible to reform the NHS without mm. integrating but, it with social Also, care. our proportion of spending on health, we think that 9, approaching 10% mm. of GDP, in, well, yeah. other countries spend almost yes. double that. Yeah. America yeah. spends 17, 18% But look GDP. at what a mess so their could, system is. But, but we could spend spend more and have a more efficient system. And I right. think that's what's required. Both, you know, both Labour and Tory are, you know, they're warning of this, this explosion, this time bomb that's going to go off. It's gone off.
fallen off. Yeah. We have yeah. 2.3 yeah. million <clears throat> old people who are... Who, and, you know, the, the worst thing about this, it, it affects the poor. It affects yeah. old people in the most poor so, so this and is, deprived So this areas. is Carol arguing for state control. But, no, it is not <laughs> arguing for state. It's arguing that we pay... That all of us who can pay more. That I think that's the point. I would be happy to pay another percent or something on my national insurance because I think we owe it to look after well, all. Well, thank elderly. you for Carol. I'm glad to see you're up for paying more tax. That yeah. doesn't happen. She's gone out with Greg Dyke as well now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> An unlikely coupling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>